accept renewal and delight in fresh starts, new moon. Oh my God, like you can't make this shit up, right? We're just talking about all of the, the new energy, the, the new moon, the fresh. Now, obviously this is a new moon card on a full moon, but that's, it's mirroring it. It's reflecting it. It's giving you the opportunity to look back on what is it that I started this journey with? What, what was it that I was trying to manifest? What was I creating? Now I'm at a space where I receive. The full moon energy is I receive. How can I best open to the energies of this full moon to receive clarity, guidance, or direction? What gift does this full moon offer to me? It's offering to you the delight of the fresh start and the opportunity for you to be able to be more of a player in the game of your own life brought yourself more into alignment and that's what the energies of this month are doing for you wisdom of the day black feather style what do you most need to know about your struggles today we have two of pentacles and your angels and guides are coming through to say look at all of the resources that you have around you now is the time to ask you know our angels and guides can't come in and give us help and support in those really specific ways unless we invite them in because we all have free will so today where are you holding yourself back where are you feeling put upon or overwhelmed because you're not asking for help and take the time to ask for help right now whether that's asking the person next to you or connecting with your guides and asking for their help it is a game changer and if you're needing a little more help and assistance and a little bit of clarity around this consider booking a session with me link in the description below transform well if you think about it the fact that you and i are here watching this video or doing this video and having this exchange right now it says that we have succeeded because we're still alive we're still breathing air into our lungs. We're still here on the planet having these experiences. We judge it based on what we're, you know, where we're not at, you know, what we have left to go or what we have left to achieve. But really, I feel like this card is saying, evaluate where you're at. Um, even though it's a card of investment, it's also that card that says, look at all of the stuff that's in your, in your environment. Look at all the stuff that's in your garden. Yeah, you don't want to pick them all right now because, you know, there isn't enough to sort of sustain for you to harvest the whole thing. But there's definitely growth here. And you want to acknowledge that because when you acknowledge the growth, you bring more opportunities to grow in positive ways. You bring more things to be grateful for. Wisdom of the day, Black Feather style. How is your body being affected by your choices today? We have Three of Wands, and Three of Wands is a really great card for expansion. So I feel like you wanna be really focusing on the choices that you're making, understanding that from a physical perspective, you're gonna be required to actually take action, to do the things, to move forward, to say yes to the opportunities that arise. You wanna make sure that your body is in tip-top physical shape. If mentally, you, what you're telling yourself and that inner dialogue that's going on is causing the body to feel drained or tired, if you're not putting the right nutrition into your body at this time, you're gonna run into some trouble here. So understand that you want to expand and your body is here to help you do that. For more like this, consider clicking on my Black Feather community completely free and you can join my Tarot Intuitively membership waitlist. Link in the description below, transform well. But it is important to understand that many of you dissociate from the body, whether this is through painful experiences on a physical level or an emotional level, whether it is through traumas that you have experienced that have caused you to feel unsafe in your physical vehicle. Whatever the reason, now is the time to heal and to choose to be present in the physical. It is all about manifestation. What is it that you're manifesting? What is it that you would like to bring more of into your world? You wanna bring that energy this week. And I wanna say, wands is not so much about contemplation as much as it's about action. It's the fuel that we use to, to activate our lives, to move forward with our dreams. So you wanna pay attention to, okay, how full is my love cup today? Is my love cup full and overflowing or is my love cup um, kind of on empty and I need to go and, and, and fill her up? 
before I get on the road to go to this, you know, this new destination or this new journey. You want to really pay attention to where your energy levels are at. If your energy levels are lower, stop what you're doing and do something instead. Shift gears and do something that you know is going to fill your love cup. Oh, 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 oh,